everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage. The three amigos are back. We are back right here on Wrestling Rampage and we got another edition of Five Questions with WR. Five Questions. WR, bitch. That's right. That's when we uh, answer your guys' questions, your viewer questions, sent in by you guys, the fans, the viewers, the subscribers, Wrestling Rampage. And we answer them right here, right here on air. That's right. That right, you old fossil. Get into uh, it, bro. I don't know. I'm just depressed. You're depressed? I'm just depressed. He's depressed. Yeah, Pops is yeah. depressed today. Yeah. Uh, nothing for you guys about just uh, some unfinished business. Yeah. So, as we get into this right here, right now, we got five <laughs> questions. And we're going to get into five it. Five right questions, here. baby. Uh, the four... Uh, the four first questions are asked by Charles Reed Fowler. Charles Reed Fowler, Luther Reigns' favorite wrestler. <laughs> Luther Reigns is his favorite wrestler. Well, Luther Reigns is Charles Reed Fowler. Hey, Luther Reigns likes you too, Charles. He told me. Yeah, right. He says... Was he pushing a wheelchair at that point too? Yes, he was. <laughs> yes, he was. He, he said if you need a book up, he'll be there. As by the way, Luther this. Reigns sucks. <laughs> and Batista does too. And Batista does too. First question asked by Charles Reed Fowler. Thoughts on uh, Aces and Eights? Uh, Aces and Eights was a group in TNA uh, in like a 2000, what was it, like 12 or some shit? Uh, I'm on watching, so I don't know. Well, you know who Aces and Eights are. I know who Bully Ray is. And I know who you, is. You know who's in Aces Well, I know who's in Aces and Eights, but I'm talking about I wasn't watching fucking TNA. I knew who they were, mm -hmm. but I wasn't watching their fucking show. Well, thoughts on Aces and Eights? Oh, the hillbilly music? They came here? Well, fucking, fucking, it sounded like goddamn fucking, a fucking western when they came out. I don't recall. Yeah, I do. It sounded like fucking western music to me when they came oh, out. I oh. know they look like a biker game. Yeah, yeah that's something but, I don't But know. they came out and looked like fucking western music when they came out. Okay. All, I, all I know is, uh, yeah, they came out with like fucking Yeah, here they vests. come out, you know, and they're fucking, fucking... Fucking vests, and, and the only big star was Bully Ray, you know, at that uh, time. Let's see, Bully Ray. Yeah, Bully Ray. Devon. You had Devon. You had Mooch Garrett Bischoff. Mooch Garrett Bischoff. Uh, you had uh, Wes Briscoe, who can't draw a dime. Uh, you had uh, Mike Knox. You had Luke Gallows. You had D'Lo Brown. You had Taz for some fucking reason. <laughs> So yeah, I remember the game. Yeah, the I remember, yeah, I remember aces and eights. Mm -hmm. Thoughts? They suck. <laughs> Pops, do you remember aces and eights even uh, at all? I've got a little bit about it. Uh, Your thoughts on it? Anything back in that era of TNA, I thought stunk. What? 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 What was their significance? Well, they were a biker gang. They had these things around their mouth, and they beat the shit out of people. Oh. Uh, Kind of like a... Kind of like a NWO? Uh, yeah. Oh, is, is that what just, they did? Just biker gang style? Yeah. yeah, just biker gang style. They look like the Disciples of Apocalypse to me. <laughs> oh, so they... <laughs> Brutus was going to be here! <laughs> so... Yeah, well, which one was Brutus in that group? <laughs> so I have the right, right to assume that they that, that they were the generic NWO. Yeah. Okay, then. Uh, enough said about that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Didn't care too much for the gimmick. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't really care, honestly. Uh, um... You know, did it set? Uh, the, the only thing it never really did. Only was, thing it, it helped was make, propel, was, uh, make Bully Ray a star. Uh, yeah, yeah, was to was to make Bully Ray a star because, uh, you know, he was he was he had this romantic thing with with Brooke Hogan. Well, everyone's had uh, a romantic <laughs> thing with Brooke Hogan as Paul Wall. <laughs> uh, but you yeah, know, Paul Wall the worst part Paul about Wall. it is, if, if if I had my choice between Brooke Hogan and Velvet Sky, it's Velvet Sky all the yeah. way. Oh, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Brooke Hogan. <laughs> But anyway, uh, something about he's going to defend Hulk Hogan's honor, and then he turns on him and becomes the leader of Aces. You see Hogan's face, the mustache, <laughs> the shitty mustache. Yeah, well, we saw some shit in the impact zone. Uh, well, everyone <laughs> was shit in the impact zone. We all know. Anyway, really we, don't fucking matter. we all know about Brooke Hogan. You know, Paul Wall shook them walls for her. So there you go. Well, fuck her. No talent, bitch. Yeah, fuck her. <laughs> anyway, and, and fuck her boyfriend too. How you like that? Who's a boyfriend? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Fuck him too. Well, who, uh, whoever he is, he has to have money because you know you get, you got to keep that bitch maintained. Second question: Thoughts on people uh, who hate 
on WWE year-round, but suddenly become fans around WrestleMania season. Who asked this question? Charles. Charles, I can think of a lot of people like that. Uh, Gemini 888's one. <laughs> uh, he does it. All, he, all year round, he bashes. Oh, uh, you know, why oh. the fuck are we having AJ Styles and Nakamura? Oh, that's going to be a great match. You know, WrestleMania 34, I'm so hyped. Uh, we're going to get Brock and we're Roman. Gonna, we're going to get Brock and Roman, you know. I'm going to fucking whack off on that. And, uh, on my flowery fucking couch that I got at the Goodwill. <laughs> and, uh... For 12 bucks. For 12 dollars. <laughs> you know, holy shit. You know, oh, wait. It ain't better than WrestleMania 8, let me tell you. <laughs> WrestleMania 8 was awesome. Oh, and Hart vs. Skinner. That's a oh, five-star yeah. match. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man, WrestleMania 4 was way better. You know, fucking... Was he miser? You know, and, <laughs> you know, fuck... I'm sorry, like... To me, I like the WWE, you know, I like that sometimes they push the wrong people, you know. Look at Rusev, man, he's over like a motherfucker, but he don't get no fucking uh, praise. Well, he's gonna get buried at Grand Yeah, of course, Rumble. bury me softly, brother. <laughs> you know, he, he knows he's losing to the Undertaker. <laughs> he already knows that shit. Happy but, Rusev Day. Yeah, yeah, Rusev Day. <laughs> I bet you Amy was gonna join that cast of two. <laughs> R.I.P. Uh, but, uh... I, I hate people that bash fucking bash bash wrestling, but then they fucking watch it. Okay, mm -hmm. why do that? That's stupid. Mm -hmm. You know, I bash something. I'll tell you, I, I don't watch TNA. I bash that motherfucker every fucking day because I don't watch it. Don't want to either. No, I got better things to do. <laughs> I'll fucking wash my hair. <laughs> no, fuck. I'll, I'll listen to the fucking uh, podcast of Bruce Pritchard. What? Something to wrestle with, or Play my fucking or, game. or Tony Schiavone, <laughs> what happened when? You know, I got I got better stuff to do. Yeah, I'll, I'll listen to stuff like that. Uh, Pops, what do you think about fans that that pretty much hate on WWE the whole year, but around WrestleMania they get that they get that itch, man. Well, it's almost like you, you know people jumping on somebody's bandwagon. Now you don't tell what I call it. Yeah, yeah. Now you don't tell what I call it. I call it hypocrites. No, of course they are. That's what they are. People that do that are hypocrites. Mm -hmm. Do uh, does WWE pull? Uh, you know, yes, their biggest pay per view is WrestleMania. Of course it is. Yeah. But you know, if you're not gonna watch or try to keep up at some point, if you don't, you're gonna be lost. Yeah, you're gonna be lost. Uh, okay. Yeah. How the fuck are you gonna do a wrestling channel and don't and and see? You gotta talk about the new shit. If you don't talk about the new shit, you're dead as Kelsey's nuts on here. Uh huh. It's, it, it, you know, a lot of people, you know, may think, you know, well, uh, you know, you, do, you don't like Vince McMahon. It's true. I don't like Vince McMahon. Uh, I, I, I don't like what they do do to the superstars that that, that, that that's come there, and they and they gave them a fucking shitty ass gimmick that they, that they that they think is, that that is never going to get over. And when when, when a, a big, you know, when, when stars come there, and you know they're stars from other promotions. You know, they, they want to put, put them in shit ass games. They won't let them be themselves. That's the same thing for what fucking happened to Eugene. <laughs> fucking, fucking, he's a fuck, fucking great talent. And then fucking OBW. He, he, he's a fucking good wrestler. And, and, and they gave, gave him a fucking gimmick that he'd be stupid and, and bullshit like that right there. And, and, and wanted, wanted him to do moves like the Rocks and all that bullshit. No, he had his own fucking moves. But no, but the man didn't want that. So well, you know, what do they got to do about fans uh, be, be, being uh, uh, great about WrestleMania? Every, every fucking fan is great about fucking WrestleMania. Me, I fuck WrestleMania too. And I fuck Vince McMahon on the way top of it, baby. <laughs> That's my <fast thing. laughs> All right, next question. Here we go. How many more years do you give the WWE Network before it dies? WWE Network's not going to die. Uh, Global Wrestling Network is. <laughs> uh, to me, WWE Network's way better. You know, I haven't watched Global Wrestling Network because one, I don't want to fucking watch it, and, and two, why, why watch a fucking dying company? Uh, and, and the fucking relive the glory days of uh, TNA when uh, when I can easily fucking buy a fucking TNA movie and watch it. You know, and and, and by the way. That's me. You know, uh, I think WWE Network's good. Uh, they put on new content, unlike fucking Global Wrestling Network. Let's live the glory days. Where a where company made money. Uh, I wonder if they got the Nasty Boys on there. You know, uh, probably. You know, the, 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 good, old, the, the uh, good old boys network. <laughs> uh, 
Um, uh, Pops, how many, how many years do you give WWE for? Uh, the, the come WWE on, come network? on. I don't think uh, I don't think WWE will will, will ever be shut down. Mm. Uh, you don't think their network will no, be no, shut I, down? I, I don't think so because because it, it, it's all on demand. I mean, I mean, I, I like it. Come because, on, come because, on! You're paying ten bucks to yeah. watch a live pay per view, okay? Which one do you want to pay? Do you want to pay fifty fucking bucks, huh? Or do you want to pay ten dollars? Well, sixty for us. Or, or sixty for us. You know, you gotta pay sixty bucks on a fucking cable company to watch WrestleMania. But you can fucking pay ten bucks and watch the pay per view. Unless you were a new subscriber, you got yeah. it for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, you know. Yeah. I'd rather pay ten dollars. Um, I think it's uh, I think it's a great thing. But you know, then again, you know, things do fall sometimes. Um, you know, who knows? Maybe. In, Ten years, it might go down. Yeah, you, ne you never know. You never and know. See, that's why I buy wrestling DVDs mm -hmm. so I can own them. And in case that's why I never stop on DVDs. Yes. Uh, some people are like, oh, DVDs are outdated. No, no. No, DVDs no. ain't fucking outdated. Uh, you know, it's just it, it, it it's a thing of I want to own it. If I want, if, if there's a pay per view that I love so much, I want to own that. Motherfucker. I want to own that motherfucker in case. You know, because you're just you're basically renting it. Yeah. On yeah. the WWE Network. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, almost you know, like a movie. Yeah, yeah. You know, so um, uh, I I don't see it going down anytime soon, as far in in the next five or ten years. But uh, you know, you never know. There there's different mediums out there. You know, uh, DVDs was a big a big thing in uh, the late '90s, uh, going into about the mid 2000s. And so, until live stream hit, yeah, and live stream has taken over. Uh, what's what? What is next to come? Yeah, 4K. Uh, you know, we, well, 4K resolution. Also, yeah. uh, you know, you never know what else is going to happen. So, you know, it's just a. Uh, I I give it maybe ten years, and so and how long they've been on there so far? Three, four, yeah. maybe. I'm not for sure how many years they've been on there so far. I, 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 I suspect, though, that, that, <clears throat> that it, it, it was, it, it, it's going to be 10 years down the road. Mm -hmm. uh, next question is a fuck, Mary kill question. All right. Um, uh, Charles asked us this fuck, Mary kill question. All right. And it's not wrestling related, by the way. So Not uh, wrestling so, related. So a little interesting. You got to fuck one, you got to marry one, you got to kill one. All Here right. we go. I see Pops is ready. <laughs> I'm ready for this. <laughs> we get Deborah from Everybody Loves Raven, All the TV right. show. We get Carrie from The King of Queens. All right. And Roseanne. All right. Well, this is easy for me. I'll go ahead and get this done. <laughs> Gonna uh, nip it in the bud? Yeah. Uh, Roseanne got to kill that bitch. Uh, I can't stand her fucking voice. Uh, and who wants to fuck her? Ask Tom Arnold. He'll tell you. Uh... <laughs> Uh, what? <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Uh, uh, I uh, I'll uh, fuck uh, Carrie from the King of Queens. Okay. And I'll marry uh, Deborah from that so ring. <laughs> no, everybody. Loves oh, that. everyone loves. Her. Who gives a fuck? I'll fuck Deborah. I'll, I'll marry Deborah. Okay, fuck it. <laughs> you know what the fuck I meant. Uh, do Do you watch any of these TV shows? <laughs> Not really. I'll be honest with you, no. So, uh, I knew who Roseanne was. <laughs> do, you, do you watch King of Queens? Oh, yeah, but I, I, I think Deborah's hotter. <laughs> okay. So right. so I have to marry her, and I have to fuck Carrie there. <laughs> all right, Black Hat, it's your turn. <laughs> I'm trying to get him with Tom Hell, but give me a minute. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I'll, I'll go while you're recuperating. Kill Roseanne. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I was at. Uh, wasn't a big fan of the TV show. Didn't care about it. Uh, and I, I hate her stupid ass laugh. Yeah, who who, who watches that show nowadays? Like, uh, they're all well, over yeah, the people pe people are like, oh, Roseanne's. But fuck Roseanne. Yeah, fuck I that show. I didn't like it when I was fucking ten. Why do you think <laughs> I'm gonna like it when I'm fucking twenty eight? <laughs> um. I'll I'll fuck Deborah from Everybody Loves Raymond. I was not I I didn't watch Everybody Loves Raymond. It just wasn't my bag, but I have seen her. Well, that's me. I had never watched uh, and, Everybody Loves Raymond, and but I knew hot. who she was. And, and she is fucking hot, and I'd marry Carrie from King of Queens because I always thought she was hot. Always. Well, 
And I, I, I love King of Queens. I, I, I love yeah, I like show. the show. I like Kevin James, too. So, uh, so, yeah, when it comes down to it... But there's only one thing I'm not a big fan oh, of. Oh, people, people make a fun of her because she got weight. Shit, I'd fuck the shit out. Uh, there's I'd only one the thing I don't weight. like about Carrie, uh. the girl on King of Queens, is Scientology. I can give two fucks about Scientology. <laughs> well, I don't give a fuck about that. Yeah, I'm just being honest. Pops! Well, okay, I, I, I tell you what, uh, Roseanne's dead off the bat. It's, it's <laughs> totally dead right there on, on the spot. Uh, you shoot her or she stands. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah with a sniper rifle. Uh, uh, Karen. You mean Carrie? Yeah, whatever. You can tell Paz don't watch any of these shows either. Uh, yeah, but but but, but I, I have watched a little bit. I I know who they are. Uh, <laughs> it's only half hour. Yeah, well, let's well, go. Well, well, I, I, yeah, you gotta marry it. Yeah, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, you gotta fuck one. You gotta marry one. You got Deborah from Everybody Loves Raymond or Carrie from King of Queens. Okay, okay. Uh, Deborah, I would definitely fuck. Carrie, I would marry. All Roseanne, right. I always said, would be dead. But, but but here's another thing. You, I, I'd marry Carrie, but I'd still have an affair. <laughs> <laughs> would you hear me flopping in the wind as well? Yeah, damn right. You see, you, uh, uh, not, 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 not unless they're into stuff like that right there, they, they, I'd put them on top of one another. I got, we'd have smalls right there, baby. Last question. Here we go. All right. Asked by TNQ Punter, our really good friend, the King of Deals. The King of Deals, the deer maker. That's right. TNQ Punter. Uh, last question is, do you guys have any memories of Toy R Us? Uh, Toys R Us actually went down. Uh, they uh, they went bankrupt. They're yeah. no longer around. Um, Everything's going bankrupt. He said that he used to buy sports cards and wrestling figures at uh, Toys R Us. Well, I really don't remember Toys R Us. Uh, yeah, um, like, uh... You know, we never really had one close to where we lived. Um, now, I remember KB Toys. Yeah. Because we had one in the mall. Yeah. Uh, but uh, as far as Toys R Us, no. Um, but, uh, you know, that's just me. Uh, yeah. Uh, Tommy, can you... Same way. All right. Pops. Uh, I remember Toys R Us. We uh, we lived at, in Indiana. We, we had one in Columbus. Uh, that, that was the... the me and, uh, me and their mom we went there. That we, we, we got them the wrestling buddies, which was Hulk Hogan and Ultra Boyer at the time. And uh, they played with them things all the time. So, yes, I remember about Toys R Us. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it's sad to see something go away. It's yeah. been a staple for a long time. I know that uh, I know I used to watch Double Dare where you can get the Jeffrey Dollars. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. For uh, for Toys R Us, but uh, uh, you know, uh, that, that's the way a lot of places have, have been coming and going. Uh, you know, our our Kmart got closed down about a yeah. year ago. Uh, you know, our KB Toys got shut down in the mall. Hell, uh, uh the 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 candy store in the mall yeah. got yeah. fucking uh, our Claire's uh, is going uh, bye yeah, bye. Yeah. Claire's is going bye bye. Yeah. I wouldn't be shocked if if Fye decided yeah don't go bye bye here. Uh, yes, yeah, so, I mean. And, and there used to, used to be a place called Dollar Masters right down the road there. <laughs> of course, going to talk about the host. Goddamn yeah, right. Because he's a sweets man. And, and, and the club. Oh, yeah. Right uh, Vinny loves sweets, yeah. by the way. If, hey, if y'all want to send something in the mail, <laughs> mail back Sid Billy some sweets. He'll love to eat that. Let me tell you something. They, they, they closed it down. And you, and you know what you put in the place of the fucking exercise? Goddamn, I can give all these bitches all the fucking exercise they want. Goddamn, that's a good way to lose weight. Shit. Yeah, you, want your, you want your fucking hostess. Yeah, they, 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 that's, that's what's wrong with the world today. They tear something good down to put, put something that ain't worth a fuck. Yeah, they tore down our uh, our uh, our blockbuster yep. that we had. And in its place, they put fucking this fucking bar and grill that I haven't seen anybody go to. <laughs> and they got yeah. a sleep outfitters there. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, a, and a fucking mattress yeah. place. Yeah, yeah, that bar and grill, you can go there, we, we pass by there Friday and Saturday night, it's dead, it's Kelsey's nuts. Yeah, so, uh, you know, it's, it, it is what it is, I guess, uh, uh, you know, people decline in uh, business. But, nonetheless, that was this edition of Five Questions, hope that you guys enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash wrestling rampage 2. 
Follow us on Twitter at Russell Rampage. If you want to send Pop some sweets, because <laughs> he is sweets man. Yeah, I like my uh, uh, I like my uh, Pops, I like my cake Pops. shit like that. <laughs> Pops yeah, has got a sweet goddamn cake. right. And all these guys, goddamn women out here jogging and shit like that. Really want to lose weight? Come to me, baby. I'll show you the best way to lose weight. Send something to the PO box. God damn, baby. At, I, I should start my own fucking weight loss. At Joseph Flat. Uh, F L A T T at PO Box six zero zero five Elizabeth Kentucky four two seven zero two, and don't forget to hit God that damn right. button to one of the best damn wrestling YouTube channels going today. Wrestling Rampage, Tommy Taylor. If you don't subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, then I guess you just don't know wrestling.